Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. Uh, why is there so much suffering in the world? And why is there evil but in the world? But if you don't assume that there's a God who is all-knowing and omnipotent and uh, completely 100% good, then you don't have a problem of evil to begin with. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the world is just as it is, and evil is part of it. Mm -hmm. now, uh, now, there's different types of, of evil, uh, different ways of conceiving evil. Uh, one way is it's just impurity. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of a Jewish way, uh, Old Testament way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. you know, all the purifications and so on is also right. Islamic. Uh, another way of, of looking at it is, of course, it's just the deprivation of good. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a third way of looking at it that's maybe a bit more complex, and it's uh, something that Jung would call aerobic evil. Mm -hmm. And there's this idea of the Euroborus, a tremendously important figure in archetype. It's a snake that reaches back and feeds on its own tail. Yeah. It's self, it represents a total perverse self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. uh, but the image of the snake eating its own tail, as I understand it, also harkens back to the original images uh, in ancient ancient cultures of, of the earth goddess who was sometimes also uh, conceived of as a dragon, like uh, yes. the Babylonian Tiamat. Yes, and, and the, the, the Europeus isn't, a, it's, a, as, it's a very big archetype, mm -hmm. and it's not in all contexts an, an evil thing, but it right. represents a drive towards self-sufficiency. Mm -hmm. If you eat yourself, and you're completely onto yourself, sustained, yeah. you're not interdependent mm -hmm. with the rest of the world. And now there's, uh, uh, the way I see you, uh, and he doesn't make this as explicit as one might desire, is we have three different ways of looking at the question of relationship between us and the rest of the world. Dependence, that's a traditional Christian thing. Mm -hmm. All things come from God, we are dependent upon uh, the Creator. And this aligns with certain types of, of philosophy, more like Platonic philosophy and so on, uh, where you have the forms and the, the archetypes and so on. And then you have independence. Mm -hmm. the, everything is sort of independent of, of everything else, or fundamentally so, obviously their inter interactions, yeah. and that aligns with a certain flux philosophy tra traditions. And, but there's also interdependence. Mm -hmm. And Jung's view is interdependence, and there's a whole section of philosophers and writers who are kind of in the middle, mm -hmm. who have a process views of things, and they stress the interdependence okay. of, of everything. So uh, turning that uh, to, to evil, uh, evil in that view becomes this withdrawal from the world in an attempt to be totally uh, meaning unto oneself. Mm -hmm. And uh, it results, of course, denial of dependence in a relationship. It's a denial of love, for, for, for one thing. Uh, love yes. sustains an interdependent world.